everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. I'm gonna show you how to make this really cool little gift card box. This is actually a box that is from Stampin' Up. I love to make 3D projects, but sometimes, let's be honest, we're in a hurry, right? And we want something that's fast. This is fast and it's easy. So I'm gonna show you how to put this together and just how stinking cute it is. Um, I'm using the Little Dreamers bundle. This is uh, featured on my blog this week. I've got five projects for you. If you're looking for more ideas, make sure you click the link here on YouTube to go back to my blog. All right, so these little gift card boxes, I wanna show you the inside. Um, first of all, it's got a scalloped edge. I love anything with a scalloped edge. And then when you open it, it's got a little gift card thing. Now I went a little bit further and put a little treat in there because I mean, come on, if you're giving somebody, especially somebody who's pregnant, um, give them a little treat too, right? <laughs> or even if they're not pregnant, give them a little treat. Um, of course you can leave the bottom part empty. Um, but I found these at TJ Maxx. I love finding fun snacks at TJ Maxx. I'll try to find them online and link them on my blog for you if you want to get them. They're those little wafers and they're lemon flavored, which is my favorite. So anyhow, they fit in this box perfectly. Okay, so let's see, I'm gonna tie this closed. Um, the box itself, doesn't have any way of, it doesn't have like a, something you tuck in to keep closed. So I have found that just tying a little piece of twine or ribbon around the edge will keep it closed um, for you. Okay, so let's put the box together first. It really is so simple. It comes like this. Um, did I show you? I can't remember. I showed you on page 126. They're right here. Um, you get 10 in a box, uh, 10 in a package for just $7. These will be great around Christmas time, especially, you know, when you get down to the end and you're just handing out gift cards to people, these would be perfect for that. All right, so just take, everything is already scored for you. You're gonna just, you know, fold in all those score lines. You can use your bone folder too to make them extra crisp. Now take these tabs, these four tabs, and you fold them in like this. And then you take this back side or the side and fold in and the other side and fold in. And because it has this little notch, it's gonna stay closed. You don't even need to adhere it. And then that front, and then it just folds down like that. I mean, the easy button for sure. All right, so I've got this and then the gift card, little, the gift card holder. Let's see, I had a gift card sitting here somewhere. Did I lose it? Oh, it's right here. Okay, so it has these little slits for you. So you're just gonna stick that in the corners like that okay and then fold that over take your adhesive and put your adhesive there on the tab and then just line it up in the middle right there and attach it to the side of the box the inside of the box like that and so then you can put you know whatever under there a pack of gum would probably fit really well in there too and there you have it i mean so so easy right all right so for the top part i have a piece of uh, misty moonlight cardstock with a piece of our uh, gone fishing designer series paper and i'm going to put that on here measurements will be on a free pdf on my blog so make sure you just hop over there and grab it it's free this is from Ah, I'm, my mind is drawing a blank. This is from another pack of designer series paper. Again, it will be on that free PDF, I promise. Item numbers, price, everything, it'll be there. My brain is having a hard time getting back into the swing of things after moving. I'll get there. All right, so I'm gonna take some of our, let's see, I can tell you what this is called, threaded twine. I like this threaded twine because it has a silver thread through it makes it just a little bit fancy, you know, kind of kind of rustic fancy. And you're gonna tie that closed like that. All right, and snip, snip, and there you go, right there. All right, so there's your box. Now let's stamp and color our little cow. Um, in here you have a lion a cow, an elephant, and a chipmunk. And they're all equally adorable. All right, we'll do our little cow right here, memento black on basic white. And then I'm gonna take my Stampin' Right, or my uh, Stampin' Blends. I'm using a new color called Pecan Pie, one of my new favorite in, uh, colors. 
And I'm gonna use my light. Oh, I got the dark, let's get the light. And I'm gonna leave the spots white and color in the rest of her or his little body. All right, so I'm using the bullet point end here. I feel like I have better control when I use the bullet point end. You can play around with it and see what you like. The other end is a brush tip, which is nice as well for big, I like to use it for big spaces when I have a large space to color. All right, and then we'll do the inside part right here, but I am gonna leave her ears white. Cute little sleeping baby. All right, and then I'm gonna take my dark and I'm gonna just kind of go around those spots. This is gonna give her a little more dimension under the ears, around her face. And down here, around this. And then I'm gonna go down here too to make it a little bit darker down here. Then I'm gonna go back with my light and I'm gonna blend that color out to the middle. I'm gonna leave her face light. I think, well, you know what? No, I'm gonna take this and just go around a little bit like that. Because that lower part would be in shadow. Like that. All right, so there we go. Now, I wanted to add some pink, so I have light bubble bath. And I'm gonna add some pink to her nose and the inside of her ears. And then I've got smoky slate dark for her hoofs, hooves, hoofs. And I forgot to color in this little part of her tail. There you go. All right, so let's cut her out. We've got the matching dies, of course, for each of our images in this set. And we'll take this one right here. And you wanna twist and turn your die until all the parts are in the right place. You can see that her tail is down there in the right place and her ears are in the right place. That way, when you run it through, it will have a perfect cut. Okay, now I have got one of our new nested labels. And I'm gonna stamp, oops, I didn't wanna do that in black. Let's see, do I have my, I did it right here. My chamois. We wanna stamp this in Misty Moonlight to match our cardstock. And um, normally I like to stamp and then die cut, but for the sake of the video, I cut that out ahead of time. So if you struggle with getting things stamped straight, stamp first and then place your die around it. It really is so much easier. All right, we'll take her and put her right here. I have one of our radiating stitches hearts that I'm gonna put right behind her like that. That's a bubble bath colored heart. heart. And then we will take our dimensionals and put them on the e either side of this twine. Now I have found that this twine is thick so I'm gonna use actually two stacked dimensionals like that and go right over there. Now I wanted to add just a little bit of something else. So I'm gonna take some of my sequins. These are pink sequins. And I'll, I'm gonna use my take your pick tool to add them. And we will be done. Now, if you've got a baby shower to go to, I've got a quick little 
solution for you. Of course, you can always change the image to Christmas or birthday or whatever, but these uh, gift card scalloped boxes are amazing. All right, make sure you visit my blog. Click the link here at the bottom on YouTube and let me know if you have questions. Thanks everybody. Bye-bye.